Hello, Internet. It is I, Malik Aaron Aaron, and welcome back to the channel, part 73. Remember last canceled episode where I talked about Clifford the Big Red Dog being removed from the release schedule and me asking the question, will more movies follow suit? Well, guess what? It's happening. Sorta. <laughs> because today, some news dropped regar regarding two big Sony movies. Those two movies being Venom Let There Be Carnage and Hotel Transylvania 4. Now, initially, it was said that there were rumors of these two movies moving their release dates. It didn't say it was going to happen, just said it was strong chance of it happening. And because I don't usually cover rumors when it comes to this series, I didn't make a video on it right away. But I did keep my eye on it. Well, guess what? Not too long after that, one of these movies did, in fact, get delayed. And that movie was Venom, Let There Be Carnage, or Venom 2. Yeah, Venom 2 got delayed. Again, I know. Shocking. <laughs> I've covered this movie four times now, including this video. So this delay doesn't surprise me all that much. Now, the good news is its delay is not significant. It didn't get delayed by six months or a year. It only got delayed by three weeks because it was supposed to come out September 24th. Now it's coming out October 15th. So three weeks. Not too bad. I mean, we've seen far worse when it comes to this series. Bad news is that it now has to deal with Halloween Kills directly because they're coming out the same weekend. Not only that, it's going to be sandwiched in between No Time to Die, which comes out October 8th, and Dune, which comes out October 22nd. So Venom 2 is in a bad, bad spot. And realistically, actually all four movies could hurt each other because they're all fan-driven movies. They all could theoretically just destroy each other and none of them make as much as they should but if i still had to pick a winner out of all of them i it's going to be a toss-up between no time to die and venom 2 <laughs> i think venom 2 has a bit more positive buzz than no time to die because no time to die that's been delayed so much for so long i don't think anyone cares about that movie that much anymore at least venom 2 restarted its ad well it started its ad campaign and a lot of people have gotten pretty pretty hyped about the movie mainly just to see carnage for the first time in live action but yeah honest you know what my money's on venom 2 winning october <laughs> if it doesn't happen i'm gonna be sad but yeah this move it's a big blow to september because september had both venom 2 and shang chi but now it's just Shang-Chi's month to dominate. <laughs> but it's a big gain for October. At least October has another big movie coming out. This might be the biggest October ever when it comes to blockbuster-esque movies. So, hooray, I guess. <laughs> now, when it comes to Hotel Transylvania 4, nothing has happened to that movie yet. But there's a strong chance something will happen to it. That's what is being said in this article. Uh, let's look at the initial one. This was like a 9 a.m. Uh, Hotel Transylvania 4 may be going to streaming. Again, Sony is still figuring out what to do. And it says right here, with vaccine cards being required at theaters in the NYC market and possibly soon LA, to and the under-12 population being unvaccinated, it's given some distributors with family releases pause. Paramount moved the, you know, Clifford the Big Red Dog movie out of 2021. Still doesn't have a release date right now. So yeah, that's the big problem with Hotel Transylvania 4. Sony has to make a decision. Do they want to release this now in theaters when the Delta variant is making things harder and worse for everyone and you know obviously the under 12 group they can't get vaccinated 
And that's the primary audience for Hotel Transylvania 4. So that's a huge problem. It's a huge potential yikes. But it could also go to streaming. It could go to Netflix. That's the main streaming service. Um, the article list. And that, that makes sense because I talked about, I think it was like a while ago, like back in April, where there was like this deal that went down between Sony and Netflix. But that was mainly just for like all their theatrical movies going straight there. But they also made a, a deal where, you know, if they saw like a movie that was just like, eh, I don't think it will do well in theaters. They just throw it on the Netflix. We've seen that happen several times with Mitchell's versus the Machines, uh, Fatherhood, Vivo. All three of these movies were supposed to be theatrical until Sony said nah and threw them on the Netflix. Will Hotel Transylvania 4 follow suit? Will it be, well, some would say the latest victim <laughs> of this? Like, will it, will it do the same? I don't know. I mean, unlike those other three movies, there's a lot of money in Hotel Transylvania. I mean, those movies do very well financially. I think the I think of all the movies, they made over a billion dollars combined with all three previous movies. So I don't know. Putting dumping this to Netflix seems like a bit of a mistake. Like you're kind of wasting a lot of potential dollars. But we've seen big movies go straight to streaming for a while now, you know. Um, Trolls World Tour, that was the initial big one. It was that, it was Scoob, Mulan, Soul. What else? <laughs> I can't think. Yeah, those are the ones I can think of off the top of my head. And well, Luca, there's Luca too. And obviously there's the whole HBO Max thing. And there's the whole Disney Plus Premier Access thing. And then even Peacock and Paramount Plus are getting in on the action. It's all a mess. A huge mess. But, you know, Sony, they don't have a streaming service. So that's why they're using Netflix as their output. That's where they're putting all their movies. So will Hotel Transylvania 4 remain theatrical or will it go to streaming? That's going to be the big question. And I feel like that question is going to be answered relatively soon. I don't know how soon, but it should be at least, I don't know, a few days, a week, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, that's what happened today. So we got a legitimate delay and a potential delay or move to streaming. So I guess I guess the same question is still here. Will more movies follow suit? Like, is, it, is this train just going to keep on rolling? Uh... I mean, I mean, August is pretty much set in stone. Nothing should happen this month. But next month, it looks set in stone for the most part. I mean, Shang-Chi, that's coming out no matter what. And it's going to be in theaters too. No Disney Plus Premier Access nonsense. Yeah, like, the rest of September looks set in stone. October, that's where things might start to get problematic. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, Hotel Transylvania 4 is still going up against Adam's Family 2. Adam's Family 2, from what I've heard, it can't move because they made some deals. And so they have to stick to that release date no matter what. So, and having two spooky, well, one's more spooky and the other's more comedic. But there's still Halloween movies. Two Halloween movies going up against each other is never a good idea. So... Maybe there is a chance Hotel Transylvania 4... I mean, if Sony wants to make some money, they could just move its release date, but where would they move it to? You know? I mean... I mean, the rest of October is just... Just wouldn't... Wouldn't be a great call. November wouldn't be a great call. December... If it's gonna move, it's gonna have to be in 2022. It's gonna have to take a 2022 spot i don't think sony's willing to do that i think you know i think they just might just put on netflix and just be like well oh well too bad (laughs) 
And then and they basically just rely on Spider-Man No Way Home to make all their money. But who knows? That movie could get delayed too. We haven't seen a lick. Well, we've seen promotional art and whatnot, like merch, but we haven't seen like a lick of legitimate, legitimate marketing. Like we haven't seen a single trailer regarding that movie. So realistically, it could move. Maybe. But Again, it depends on if we see a trailer or not in the near future. But yeah, I don't know about the rest of the calendar. I get ho Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City. I don't see that sticking. It hasn't had any marketing from what I've seen. So that could move. I mean, Ghostbusters Afterlife, that just restarted its marketing campaign. Eternals, I don't see that moving. Top Gun Maverick should stay. But funny enough, it actually would have been better if it stuck with that July release date. In hindsight. But they didn't know that then. So I can't blame them too much for making that, you know, this decision of moving it to November. But yeah, I don't... I'm not sure what other movies could get delayed. Maybe some of the 2022 movies. But I don't know... I guess this all depends on if this Delta variant becomes like a true disaster. Like worse than like the initial. Actually worse than like winter, like last winter. If it gets like way worse than that, then expect a bunch of these movies to move to 2022. But if that doesn't happen, then we should be relatively fine when it comes to movies. But it does suck that Venom 2 got delayed a bit more, but... I'm still going to watch it. <laughs> I don't even care if it's a terrible movie. I'm still going to watch it. it. It should be a good time. Uh, for Hotel Transylvania 4, I couldn't give a crap about that movie. <laughs> to be brutally honest with you. I could I could care less. So, uh, yeah. That's it. Uh, make sure to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment, turn on notifications, share the whole drill. You want to check out more videos like this? Got playlists on the homepage with all previous canceled episodes at this point, and the cancel series where I go over all the movies that were supposed to come out but didn't for obvious reasons. Last episode, I talked about Hulk Clifford the Big Red Dog and the potential more movies getting delayed, which is what I already mentioned. So, if you want to watch, uh, I've also covered Venom 2 and Hotel Transylvania 4's constant release date changes on the in this series too so if you don't watch any of the past predict not predict the past past canceled episodes including this one there's now 73 so there's plenty of material for you to look at uh that way you're up to date on what's going on with all these movies uh you can go right ahead there's also box office predictions where i predict box office results for movies this weekend, I got to cover Don't Breathe 2, Free Guy, Respect. Next weekend, God, there's four movies. Night House, Paw Patrol, Protégé, Reminiscence. And the next two weeks, one movie each. Thank God. <laughs> because that's way more manageable. I cut The week after that, I covered Candyman. The week after that, the end of summer, technically. At least the movie version of summer cover shang chi that should be an interesting <laughs> video but if you want to watch any of the past uh, prediction videos i made this year you can go right ahead there's also box office recaps where i go over the box office results for any particular month well i think it was last week i covered july so i won't cover august until first week of september after labor day but if you want to watch any of my past recap videos, you can go right ahead. And yeah, that's it. That's all. I am out. Goodbye.